Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Content of FIFA 23 has officially gone wild with EA Sports releasing the Shapeshifters promo yesterday into FIFA 23. We have got to talk about the defenders moved to striker with five star skills. We got to talk about strikers moved into the defense. This promo is living up to the hype and my goodness, I want to try out so many of these cards because they just look crazy and fun. We've got icons and cards with even better links than before as we talk Talked about the premium shapeshifters in packs and in SBCs as well. There's so much going on. We got to talk about it and also look forward into more shapeshifter content today on Saturday. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new. Really quick before we get into things today, just a little bit of a heads up. I will be missing a couple of days about Tuesday and Wednesday of this upcoming week. There will not be a video on those days because I will be gone with the misses, something we go through every year. But I just want to give you guys a heads up just so that you are aware and it is communicated well. So without further ado, let's dive into yesterday's content and everything that went on on Friday. It all started with an EA mistake. Add this to the now long list. I don't even think we have a paper long enough to list all of the mistakes that EA has been making recently. They added uh, these foot champs rewards with 91 plus efigs and efig slash minor league tots three players packs to the 14 win and above threshold in weekend league rewards. And those cards were accidentally placed as tradable and they are able to be bought and sold on the market. If you're checking the market and you come across a foot champions card uh, on the market, that is the reason why you're seeing this right now. We've got Hyunmin Sun 94 rated red as 2.4 million coins listed up on the market right now. These cards were tradable as they should not have been, and they were, of course, able to be listed up on the market. So EA took those packs away. I think they actually just had the wrong pack in place. Um, I think it was supposed to be the blue cards for the tradable packs and maybe for the untradable rewards at 14. Uh, it was supposed to be the red cards. I'm not entirely sure. But whatever the case is, they had the rewards mixed up. And currently, if you take a look at these higher ranking rewards, there are no packs inside of here, like a team of the season, 91 plus pack. They're not in there. So we're waiting for EA to reinstate those. So if you don't see those from your weekend league rewards, that is the reason why. One of those big EA mistakes, once again, that just is like, what is going on in this game right now that is causing all of these mistakes. So that was the first thing, but a lot of shapeshifters content dropped on yesterday's game as well. Of course, we're going to start with objectives because this is flying under the radar, but this is massive for all of us. The XP that was dropped yesterday inside of this shapeshifters two objective, we have 1000, 2000, we've got 5,000 XP inside of here that you can get done by playing 15 matches using a shapeshifter player in your starting 11. That's actually helping. I think some of the shapeshifter prices probably going to fluctuate and move because people have to be using shapeshifter cards to get this XP. And we all know that XP is so very important as we're progressing through the season. And with all of this dropped yesterday, this 5,000 XP here, you've got more XP with a 2000 group reward inside of this. I think people are actually able to get up to level 20 or almost to level 20 with all this XP that has been dropped. Now, I'm nowhere near that. I'm a little bit behind. I got to get some of my objectives done. I actually just claimed the 84 times five, which will open at some point in this video. Uh, but make sure you follow the objective grind because there is a lot that is coming out there. Also in objectives, we had a Mitrovic center back card, three star, four star, high, medium, six foot two. I just noticed the work rates. I thought he was medium high. He's high medium. That's very interesting, of course, for a center back. Usually you want that high defensive work rate, 99 strength and heading accuracy. Kind of a fun card once again to get through an objective. Uh, I think I was even getting this done by just playing with a few Premier League cards in my weekend league team. That's just, again, that's just the premise of this Shapeshifters promo. As you guys know, and as we're going to talk about, it's just crazy and it's fun. So that's an easy grind and we're a fan of that. Now, the bigger content, probably the biggest content of the day yesterday was in SBCs. And it's not with the Storgan Hazard, but we'll talk about the Storgan Hazard first. Of course, as we found out early yesterday, our league for Eden Hazard was incorrect. Foot Sheriff leaked Eden Hazard, but it was actually Thorgan. So we got Hazard is the name we're guessing as the leak, but it was actually the brother to Ed and not Thorgan. But anyways, or sorry, it was Thorgan. Anyways, four star, four star, high, high work rates. This is a premium shapeshifters card, which means he is very linkable. If you want to use an air divisi team, all you need is Javi Simons. You can get links to him with this hazard card, a lot of different links. And I like how these premium cards, if you notice, there's a pink and a green outline around the player. If you take a look at some of the other cards released as well, 
I think that's a kind of a cool touch. Great from the design team at EA. This SBC is only 75,000 coins. If you want to use Javi Simons or air, any other Air Divisi cards, this is a very kind of like a must needed card to put in your squad. And it's kind of cool that he's position changed to left back. Uh, so that's a W SBC in my book, just not a W for everybody. The real W SBC is this Diot Upamecano. And I did this one. It's in my team. I'm having a lot of fun with him right now. It's 430,000 coins. But it's just, again, you see a card like this and you're like, wow, this promo is just crazy. 95 pace, 92 shooting, 93 dribbling, 94 passing, 96 physical. He has high medium work rates and he is five star skills. He even has the finesse shot trait. I think I hit a finesse shot with Oop Meccano yesterday in game. High and stocky body type. I mean, guys, with an engine, this card is, he's pretty, pretty good in game. I would say he is kind of the similar type of vibe as a Zidane type player, you know, he's pretty tall and he's got, you know, the long legs kind of vibe going on. He's really good and he's really fun to use. It is a bit expensive, but he is French. He's got the Bayern links and this one is very highly upvoted. 78%. A lot of people are doing the Super Mikado. And I think the reason why it's so hype is because He's very linkable. He's from a big team, and he's kind of a meta FIFA card, even as a center back. But now the fact that we have him as a shapeshifter as well, there's a lot of hype there. And you can tell because prices on the market of those Bundesliga cards, specifically those Bayern cards, went up a lot yesterday. Musiala is back down at a million coins. He was like 1.08. Delict is up over 100K. He's like 900, I think, and uh, 9, like 50 or 60 right now, and he was 800 and like 30K yesterday. So he's a big, some of the other cards like Alfonso Davies and some of your other Bayern specials went up a good amount because of this. But that card yesterday was an absolute W. I mean, I think there's going to be more W shapeshifter SBCs to come, and I'm super excited for that because this is a great start. It really, really is a great start. Um, yeah, one goal scored, one assist, and he's just really, really good in the midfield. So if you're looking for an SBC to craft this, week that might be a one that you could go ahead and go for i'm excited to see what other shapeshifter sbcs come out soon because with the potential uh that, that's there it's very very high potential for just some fun crazy cards to use now let's talk about the team that is in packs we've got icons we've got premium cards and we got the regular shapeshifters it's a w promo team now is this going to be the best shapeshifters team that we have? I hope that it's not because honestly, I feel like the cards that are in packs for the shapeshifters team, like VVD, Rudiger, Depay, Bruno Fernandez, and Mares, those are all really great cards. Don't get me wrong, but I think there's another level up on some of these guys. Remember last year we had Hyunmin Sun, we had Messi and Eden Hazard all in, I think the first team that were released. This feels like a little bit of a step down, but we've got icons this time around, specifically our first 99 rated card in the game, 99 Pele, left wing, right wing, he can play left and right side, he's 5 star, 5 star, crazy, crazy card, W dynamic image, of course, basically extinct on the market, apart from a couple that have popped up right there, but this team in general, guys, I'll say it, it's pretty packable, and there's a good mix of some cards in here that, you know, you might not often try, but with some of these stat boosts, you kind of want to. Geraldo Becker, as a center back, 4-star, uh, 4-star, four four he is lengthy on basically every chem style, and also I think he's got a little bit of extra hype to him because he is a premium shapeshifters card, which means he gives double league boost chemistry, and I think a lot of people are using Becker with Oop Meccano and trying him out just because he looks pretty cracked with 91 pace, 94 defense, and 90 D3 physical as a striker moved to a center back or CDM, right? He's got that position change availability there. So like I'm saying, there's a lot of good cheap cards in here. Uh, Toko Akambi looks really good. I actually packed him yesterday. Eric Bailly for 80k looks really good as well. Even the icons, man. Rykard. I packed a Rykard yesterday. Five star skills on this card. He is lengthy. Uh, I think I put a Hunter on him. Uh, and he's still lengthy and he's super fun to use. He's kind of just like glitchy with uh, how he feels in game. And that's the excitement with this team, guys, right? We've got really big W boost in here. We've got a striker Rudiger, right? We've got a, a, a bunch of attackers that have been moved to defense. We've got a bunch of defenders that have been moved up. It's just crazy with the cards that we got. It just is kind of like mind boggling, but it's also fun at the same time to see these cards released on the game and say, wow, 
I'm going to use a Bruno Fernandez that is a bunch of pace and five star skills on the wing instead of using him centrally uh, like you most often would. Or the Rudiger, right? Striker Rudiger. I picked one up about an hour ago for 705,000 coins or something along those lines, and he is up a good bid. But just a card like this is like, yo, I want to try this card because it looks crazy. 99 finishing attack positioning. Uh, sorry, 99 shot power, long shots, and attack positioning on Rudiger. 99 composure and reactions with 99 aggression. Like, I just want to try this card out with a five-star weak foot as well. He looks so crazy. And that's the fun that we are having here with this promo. It's not realistic at all. But welcome to content on FIFA just going wild and changing. Now, one thing I will tell you guys, they these cards, they hide in the back of packs. I packed Rykard yesterday. He's in my team. And I packed him out of an 84 times three pack. He actually walked out of the pack at the front. I got to see the animation because he was the only walkout in the pack. Now, 84 times five. Let's see if we get anything here. A lot of times these guys do not walk out because they kind of sit behind the walkout. So I'm getting an 85. So probably not a shapeshifter in this. Wow, that was a woeful pack. That is a woeful pack. Goodness. Okay, well, that uh, level five reward was not super great for me. But just kind of check out, if you're opening packs this week, just check the back of every pack that you open because there might just be a shapeshifter at the back. You never know. So that's what I'll say about that. But that's kind of also something we wish we wouldn't have happen. We'd like to see these cards walk out because it's better that way. But again, guys, you look at this team and it just looks like a lot of fun. I love the cheap cards. Frankowski looks really cracked. A lot of people are saying he's on par with a Diaby type player. He's a premium item, so he gets those decent links as well um you know Depay looks crazy van dyke was extinct at 5.7 mil and now he's 8 million coins you got a price range up that he is ridiculously overpriced and again that's how this team is kind of set up we got really cheap cards that are fun to try out uh like the eric bailly uh like the frankowski's pretty cheap like the becker then you've got really expensive guys like pele you've got van dyke and of course bruno and mares being very very expensive the icons as well socrates looks absolutely amazing I don't know if you guys are looking at any of these cards and saying, I want to try any of them out. Socrates looks cracked. Hierro looks pretty good for a 50 or 60K card as well. Van Persie with two versions. We kind of like that. And then, like I mentioned, Rykard, he's fun as well. So I got nothing against this promo team. Do I think it could level up? Yes. Uh, but I think this is a really, really solid team. Now, a little bit of information about shapeshifters because EA actually told us a lot on their webpage. They have told us that this is going to be a three week promo right the mini release is going to come sunday which we'll have more on that in a second then there's going to be a second team launching next friday with a third team the friday afterwards on june 30th so it's a three-week promo not a four-week promo unless they re-release cards and packs i guess you could say but probably by the end of this point we're going to be looking towards the potential of a summer heat promo starting in july it would just make sense if that were to come after this shapeshifters promo so that's kind of the timeline it's going to be a longer promo but that also brings the potential for really good content i want to show you guys this image that ea is using on their website to kind of talk about premium chemistry they're showing basically this has to be kevin de bruyne right manchester city in belgium and then also a brazilian from real madrid with the premium links I don't know if this is just a concept or if this is EA actually teasing something that's to come in a future Shapeshifters team. I feel like there could be better players released in these promos as we move on throughout them. So I'm pretty excited for that as well. Now, again, it mentions in here that there's a mini release to follow on Sunday, June 18th. And if you look at team one on their website here, you're going to notice that there's a lot of cards in here that are in packs that are missing, right? Where's Eric Bailly? Where's Frankowski? Well, they are in packs right now, and it is believed that EA accidentally released Orsolini, Eric Bailly, and Frankowski early. Like, these were supposed to be the mini-release cards. That is the leak from FIFA U team, and it makes sense because their website does not show those three, and those are in packs. So once we get to tomorrow, we'll kind of figure it out uh, if we're going to get more cards or not, if we don't get any more than these three because... Uh, they're already in the game. So we'll have to see what happens there. But that's uh, the promo team. And that's basically everything that dropped yesterday on this game. Now, with everything that dropped, let's talk about the market a little bit. Because it's not like we had crazy, crazy price movements yesterday. The market's not crashing by any stretch of the imagination right now. A lot of prices are kind of just in limbo. Yes, there are cards that have gone up. We talked about it, right? A lot of the Bayern links have gone up because of the Upa Meccano, and there's a lot of hype there. And yes, some of these shapeshifters are drawing a lot of hype, which is moving some prices. But it, for me, when I look around and look at a lot of the TOTS cards, 
And guys, if you bought stuff for your team this weekend and in the past week or so, you're really not losing a lot of coins right now, uh, unless you maybe bought one of the two or three unlucky cards. It has dropped off a good amount. Uh, Layout, I think, is hurting a little bit right now. He's like 2.4 mil. Kavicha is down a little, but a lot of these guys are kind of in the same range, right? De Bruyne still 500. Messi still 3 mil. Salat 800k. Jude's down a little. Militao is up a little. Um, and really, I feel like the the, the market's not going to get hurt as much right away. I could see these prices, as we've been saying, on the top tier. I feel like the top tier of this market right now is where there's the biggest potential for drop-off because we've got a lot of really insane top-tier shapeshifters like the VVD, like the Rudiger, but especially the Mares being 5-star, five 5-star, five and the Bruno Fernandes being 97 rated, and the Icons being out as well. There's more potential for the top tier to have bigger drops, in my opinion, because people with the coins are going to want to swap to these new most meta cards in the game as a part of the shapeshifters team. So I think if you're on a lower tier budget, I think you're still pretty safe to be trying cards out and playing weekend league with them. Again, just be careful. Don't hold on to them forever. But it's not like we're seeing an immediate market impact on most of the market because of these shapeshifters uh, and the ones that have dropped. Now, that could continue to change, though. We'll just have to see based on the SBC content that we get. And that's what it boils down to now. And that, I want to look forward into the future next. Of course, we've got so much potential with the shapeshifters promo, right? We saw on that little screen that EA had added to their website, a maybe a KDB and maybe like, I don't know, Vinny or Rodrigo or a Militao shapeshifters. Guys, the potential for shapeshifters is unbelievable, right? A striker, Harry Maguire is somebody is something that everybody wants on this game. That could be content that is still upcoming. So again, who knows? We don't get a lot of leaks, right? I mean, we had a few leaks for the promo cards and we knew a few of the names before yesterday, but it's not like the leaks are coming out as crazy as they were um, during like team of the season. Seems like they're a little bit more delayed, a little bit slower, which I think is a W, um, but also, you know, just kind of something to take notice of. Maybe we don't get leaks until right before that second team is going to come out or before an SBC is going to come out the day of. And then you don't have as much panic selling before that. So the drop offs are steeper and uh, kind of more pronounced. We'll have to see. So that kind of just depends on what the content is that is upcoming. Now, speaking of that, we do have one leaked SBC player that I think might be today because we had a shapeshifter Upa Meccano yesterday. Maybe he is going to switch it up today on Saturday and go with a shapeshifter icon SBC. This is a most likely SBC leaked by Foot Sheriff Zambrata. Super interested to know where he would play. I think Zambrata's already had an SBC this year, right? His prime was released. His prime, of course, you can play right back or left back. This card would be really fun to use and potentially really, really meta in the midfield. He could also be a center back, but a CDM Zambrata, I think, would be really, really nice. And I think this has the highest percentage chance of being part of our content today on this game can you imagine this zambrata card five foot eleven with a four star skills five star weak foot already imagine a five five zambrata at, in the midfield right they boost his dribbling up a good amount so that he can be you know he's he's not that tall five eleven so maybe he'd be a bit more quick and shifty they boost up his pace a little bit more too that could be a really really good card and a really great sbc so watch out for that one coming today and um you know we'll talk about fodder with sbcs as well fodder right now is kind of doing what we thought it was going to do, right? We had those prices dropping yesterday on the lower tier, as expected. 82s are back down to 850. I was paying 1.9K for them to build up 83 plus player picks yesterday. Um, 83s are 2K, 84s are 4, 85s are back to 8,000 coins. Now, your top tier on fodder is really not down that much. 88s are still 18, 19K. They did go up a little bit yesterday. Um, not Holland because he's now back into packs, but let's look at like Tony Cruz because he's been in packs, so his price wasn't inflated. These guys did have a bit of a spike yesterday after content with people doing the Oop Meccano and with people doing the Icon Player Pick that returned. The Icon Player Pick expires tomorrow on Sunday, so I'm not expecting that to come out today. But I would say this high tier fodder is still prepped for a higher rise in the future because we don't have all those TOTS cards in packs anymore. So if you have high tier fodder, I would be holding on to that. TOTS cards, like I still have invested. Some of you guys have been asking me, when should I sell my TOTS cards? I've still got them. I'm still holding on. They're like 37,000 coins, I think. Oh, they're still going. How much are we at? Oh my goodness. Are we at 40K? 39k for Otamendi. Did we actually go to 40? We are at 40,000 coins for all TOTS cards in this game. Yeah, guys, we're holding the line because these can only go up unless EA release a tradable TOTS uh, pack out into this game, which they could do. 
But for right now, 40K for this, it shows no signs of stopping at the moment. With how fast they've gone up this year, we might be in for an even bigger rise later on this week. So I'm holding those. But if you want to invest in the low tier, it's looking like a good opportunity to buy these again. 85s at 8K are great. 82s under 2K is preferred. 84s under 4K is preferred as well. Um, it just really depends on what we get today. If all we get is Zambrata and he's decent value, that might make some of these cards drop a little bit lower into tomorrow and Sunday where we can pick them up. So we're watching that situation very closely, but it is the weekend. It is fodder time as well. Now, I want to make a good point. I want to make a point um, about stuff in the store and i'm going to quick sell this tottage so i can get to the store um we, they dropped a pretty crazy pack yesterday it was just the first of two though i think it was the premium shapeshifters pack uh that dropped yesterday 400 000 coins and it's got a pretty sizable chance of a shapeshifter player 41 percent 20 percent of a premium and 25 percent of a shapeshifter icon um, you know, we talked about in yesterday's video that 83 times 60 is called the elite premium or the elite uh, shapeshifters pack. We already had the premium It's the elite one, right? If that drops today as well as a part of content, that will be massive because that would be a pack that a lot of people would like to open. And you can only imagine how high the percentages are going to be on some of those shapeshifter cards. So I would be very careful today, you know, with this game. I'm not saying that's going to kill the market off by any stretch of the imagination because a lot of times people are opening those with FIFA points and less people are opening those with coins and it doesn't hurt the market that much. But that will be kind of a game altering thing to see on this game today. So watch out for that. And then I will say this. Can we get a cup mode EA? Because we've been used to a cup mode every single week for the past six weeks and there's been something to grind. I know we have objectives in here and I know that there has to be some gameplay and there has to be some other random things that you do inside of this to get these uh xp boost but i will say this without a cup mode or without some other sort of friendly to grind comparing to what it has been it's probably going to seem like there's nothing to do this week of shapeshifters if we don't get something like that so it'd be nice if we had some little shapeshifters cup that could be something that comes out today as well who knows but i got my fingers crossed for that one and uh yeah market wise as well yesterday was a good day to trade it just it was all about timing right van dyke was extinct on the market so i picked up his team of the year at 1.26 sold that for a good price that's the kaka we won't talk about we sold him though i bought a bruno for three mil flat i didn't make too much here i bought a depai for 700 sold that a bit early two ride cards i bought in the first hour for 340 and 356 and then this was the big money maker mares i bought a 2.23 on stream played a game with him scored a hat trick i think it was a hat trick or at least scored a couple goals and then sold them for 2.8 mil and i did pick up a rudiger tonight at 705 because i do think that some of these shapeshifters will have some fluctuations into the day today on saturday all i would say is expect a normal saturday right a early rise on the shapeshifters as people got to go out and try them because they're just fun cards but then also i would expect their prices to drop down later into the night saturday night and into sunday as they normally do but let me know down in the comments what you thought of shapeshifters what you're thinking of this promo and uh what you hope to see today on saturday in this game if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nate for the channel see you guys in the stream today peace out